Critics of the Bible that want to find contradictions uh, and, and think they do find apparent contradictions within Scripture, they, they, they go in with the pretext that they want to find those contradictions. They're reading Scripture with already this preconceived notion that there are contradictions within Scripture, uh, rather than reliably letting Scripture speak and forming their opinion after they have read Scripture. Uh, reading scripture within context means that I don't come with a pretext. I don't come with these preconceived notions, which is pretty hard to do. Uh, we all come with the this baggage of what we think ahead of time coming into scripture. But reliable journalism, reliable reading of scripture means that, that I'm leaving my pretext at the door and that I'm going to let scripture speak for, for itself. Uh, I do not want to impose my own thoughts on what scripture is saying, but I, I want to read what scripture says and, and learn from what scripture says. Let it speak for, for itself. Um, so we want to approach scripture with humility, which means we want to read passages, we want to read sections of scripture within its larger context. And here's what that means. I don't want to rip out two different passages uh, from, from their context and pit them against each other. That's what opponents to Christianity might often do and say, these two things are saying two different things. Uh, yet when you read the passages within their larger context, within the, the larger context of the story, so let's say 20 verses before and 20 verses after that passage, you, you can kind of get a sense of what, what that passage is actually saying. And then you also read that, that passage, not just within the immediate storyline, but within the, the larger context of that, that book of the Bible. And, and then within the larger context of the entire Bible. If the Bible claims to be a singular message, well then, uh, that, that's part of the context of each individual passage as well. Uh, that's what reliable reading of Scripture would, would do. That's what uh, reading Scripture with integrity would be like. And that we would seek to also understand the passage uh, rather than coming in with our preconceived notions of what we think that passage means. So what is scripture actually saying? And that takes a whole lot of humility. It takes a whole lot of humility to bend the knee to God and say, what are you saying, Lord? And, and help me to learn and, and understand from what you are saying. Why do we do this? <laughs> Well, it's not because we want to defend ourselves necessarily against those who, who find apparent contradictions within Scripture. Uh, that, that will come naturally. Uh, but we do this because we want to learn from God. We want to grow in understanding and we know that He will bless us as we grow in that understanding. Because the Spirit of God works through His work. And when we humbly come and listen to what God has to say, the Holy Spirit is working through that word, to create faith in our hearts. Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10 say this, For this reason, from the day we heard about your love, we also have not stopped praying for you. We keep asking that you would be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, so that you might live in a way that is worthy of our Lord. Our goal is that you please him by bearing fruit in every kind of good work and by growing in the knowledge of God. We want to grow in the knowledge of God and we want to do that by, by listening to his word humbly and allowing the spirit to grow our faith. May God help us to do just that.